Hey Aries, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this is your reading Aries, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload these readings. You can get a personal love reading on my website or my Etsy shop. I also have my tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets there as well. All right, let's jump right in. What messages do we have for my Aries? Aries in love. All right, we have determination, okay? So it could be something here that you are determined to accomplish, determined to do. Um, it says, don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede. So there could be something here that seems very difficult. Maybe there's been a lot of challenges in being able to get to a certain place in your life, maybe a certain place in your love life. Um, I feel like there's something here about you being determined to really fight for what you want, okay, in order to get what you want. We also have guidance, okay? So some of you guys, you may be getting spiritual guidance during this time. Maybe there's someone that's guiding you. Maybe you need guidance of someone. So this could be about you reaching out. Um, find safety in your beacon's light, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. Let's see what this uh, is going to take us for you guys. And let's jump right in. All right, so what is the challenge that Aries could be facing with regard to love? Aries in love, January going into February 2022. All right, what is the challenge for Aries in love? Aries, Aries in love. All right, the challenge is a fourth sword. So I'm seeing the energy of take your time, okay? I feel that right now, Aries, this could be a time of recovery, right? The fourth sword is a very healing energy. It's about really finding yourself um, and finding peace of mind through some kind of conflict in your life. Maybe you're going through a lot of challenges and now it's something about putting something to rest. It could be about uh, taking downtime in order to, to sort through something, right? In order to get some guidance on how to move forward. So this could be someone here, Aries, that maybe you are pulling away from maybe you're taking a break from something or someone in particular maybe they're too much maybe they bring conflict to your life all right the current energy we have is the three of cups the knight of wands in reverse and the tower in reverse you know what i'm seeing here um this three of cups is definitely speaking about you guys aries uh, maybe there's someone that you want to come together with the three of cups can also be a dating card it can be a really time a great time to date get to know people having fun sharing your cup laughing smiling okay but i do see there's something in particular aries that you're pulling away from i don't know if this is the person maybe this is a situation the tower is in reverse so there's definitely someone here that you may be avoiding right now aries maybe they're avoiding you maybe there's been a tower moment there's been a lot of change, something sudden, drastic, um, you know, may have brought a lot of uncomfortable change, right? The tower is not comfortable to have to go through. It's a shakeup. It's destruction. Something it may have fallen apart. Um, and I feel like with the Knight of Wands and Versus being your Aries energy, I see that there's something that you may be holding back from, holding or pulling away from even, okay? Um, because of this tower moment. So maybe there's someone that you feel you need a break from in order to get some guidance, four of swords, go within maybe perhaps, um, in, in order to figure out how you want to move forward with someone, how to come together, three of cups. Now, some of you guys, you may want to come back together with this person with the three of cups. That could be the energy of a reunion. In the recent past, we have this king of pentacles in reverse Taurus, Virgo Capricorn. We have the eight of wands energy and the ace of cups. So beautiful. In the past, yeah, I feel like someone here is wanting to communicate with you, Aries. Maybe someone tried to reach out. They couldn't get a hold of you. There is an energy of movement. I want change. I want direction. I feel someone here wants to communicate, maybe offering a new love offer to you. The Ace of Cups could be saying, hey, Aries, um, I really care for you. You know, the Ace of Cups could be a renewal. Now, this could be someone here who wasn't able to commit to you. Maybe there were some commitment issues. Maybe it's coming from someone who you really, really love and care about, but you feel like they haven't been able to meet your needs. They haven't been able to give you what you want, okay, with regard to commitment, stability, security, okay? So I feel like there may have been communication coming in from this person regarding wanting a new beginning. Um, maybe it didn't come in yet, but I feel there's the energy of this person, like, are you even serious? Like, do you even, do you even really even mean that, you know? So let's see, Aries, what's on your mind? Ace of Wands in reverse. 
there's something here that starts up for you regarding love, but then it's almost like it doesn't go anywhere. So I think that some of you guys, you have a fear of moving forward with someone in some direction and then feeling as if it's not going to take off. It's just going to fall flat on the floor. Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Four Cups. So this is telling me that some of you guys, you may be rejecting someone because you feel like they don't give to you in a fair, just manner. You may feel like they don't reciprocate or they don't give you all of them, right? They breadcrumb you or they keep you waiting. There's something here about this person's energy that I feel you may be afraid of. You may be afraid to um, accept them back into your life. You may be afraid to take up this offer because I'm seeing it's kind of like this offer isn't even really going to present anything to me long term, right? Ace of Wands reverse is not long term. So I feel like there's something here that you are unsure about. There's been some kind of missed opportunity, but I almost feel like something just didn't work for a reason. And part of Part of me is saying that the Six of Pentacles reverse could just be this person, uh, maybe keeping their options open. Maybe things didn't work because they didn't put in the work that was necessary, okay? So if, all right, what's going on in the foundation for Aries? The Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. We've got two fives. The Fool in reverse. There's your Aries energy and we have the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, I get the sense, Aries, that there's definitely someone who's thinking of you. You're definitely on your mind. There's your energy right in their environment. I see the Fool in reverse. This is someone who you don't trust. And I see that you don't trust them because they've let you down. I mean, the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands, there's been some resistance, fighting, arguing, some kind of disappointment. I feel that this, this is someone that may have had you competing for them and they, you know, I'm getting compete for them in love. Maybe you had to really fight to show them how much you cared for them. And it's almost like they didn't care. So this five of cups, I feel like there may have been a missed opportunity because someone here didn't want this opportunity with you or they didn't act like it. And so I feel with the Five of Cups, there's a lot of regrets, a lot of disappointment, remorse, feeling really bad, feeling down um, about a situation here. Now, there is someone here, Aries, who's thinking about a new opportunity, thinking about what this opportunity could look like. I feel this person may require, uh, may need to walk away from something. Some of you guys, I feel they maybe walked away from you. Um, Eight of Cups, we're going to find out what that's all about. But there are some trust issues here, Aries. There are some trust issues. As far as the outcome, we have this beautiful world. We have the Nine of Wands in a verse with the Page of Wands. So when I'm seeing Aries, there's someone here who's going to come into your life. Um, if this could be a new person, it could be certainly an old person. I feel for some of you guys, it is uh, someone who's given up on you with the nine of wands in reverse. I see someone here is wanting to move in this new direction with you. Now, there could be someone here coming in after you close a cycle here with the world card who may be allowing you to move in this new direction that you want regarding love, okay? Maybe there's something here that you've been holding out on um, regarding love because you haven't been getting it. And that world could be indicating of closing of cycles, um, you know, clearing out some karmic debt. And finally, Page of Wands moving in this direction that you've been wanting. And it may require you to give up on something, Nine of Wands in reverse. Now, some of you guys, there's someone here that even if you've given up on them, they may want to still move things in a direction with you. This could be an older energy. I feel that someone who wants to come in may come in with a lot of communication with that Page of Wands, okay? So let's see. Um, this also could be your energy, right? Maybe there's something that you're going toward. Let's first clarify the Four of Swords. This is the challenge you guys are being faced with right now. Taking time to yourself, healing, recovering, finding peace of mind amongst some conflict in your life. The Hermit. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This is what you're recovering from. You've gone through a really difficult ending, Aries. And maybe you felt betrayed. Maybe you felt uh, abandoned. You've hit rock bottom and you have to realize that. So this Hermit. Take, be easy on yourself, you guys, because I feel like the Hermit and the Four of Swords is really about you really going within, taking time to heal your inner wounds, you know, their wounds, there's trauma here. And I feel like this is really about you um, going within, okay, and getting maybe a whole nother perspective on a situation, maybe getting some answers, getting guidance, right, on how to move forward, what's the best option for you. All right, let's see. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? That could be your energy, the moon, and the five of swords. Now, some of you guys, you decided to give up on someone or no longer 
move toward them with the knight of wands in verse because there was a lot of secrets there was a lot of things that were hidden from you and i feel like you didn't know what was real what was true what was not there were a lot of illusions here with the moon card it could be a pisces scorpio cancer and with the five of swords is that this is someone here that you were in conflict with I feel that maybe you argued a lot with this person because there were a lot of things you didn't know. There were a lot of things that were unclear to you. And so I see the tower in reverse. Some of you guys are avoiding this person because they just bring a lot of disaster and, and you know, um, chaos to your life. Page of Pentacles and Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I get the sense that there could be something here being offered. But I see that someone either doesn't want it, someone is like not interested. Eight of Wands and Rose could be delays, it could be um, communication issues, right? We're in Mercury retrograde now. Eight of Wands and Rose is that something isn't coming in. Whether it's communication or open dialogue between the both of you, it's like someone is avoiding something. Someone is avoiding the other person entirely. But I feel someone wants to make an offer with the Three of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. What's this about? Eight of Cups. Someone may want to make an offer after leaving something else, the temperance in reverse with the eight of cups. Someone who may have walked away from you, Aries, may be wanting to reach out with that page of pentacles. There's something tangible. This could be like a text message, a DM. Um, and I feel like the reason why is because someone here is, with the temperance in reverse, I almost feel like someone is very anxious, okay? Now, Aries, this could be someone that you gave up on. This could be someone that you gave up on, you lost patience for them, and you walked away eight of cups. And there's someone who now wants to come back together with you with the three of cups and the page of pentacles, and they may be making a small offer. Now, give me the recent past. Give me more information about this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The emperor in reverse and the judgment in reverse. So whoever this person was, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. There's definitely someone here who didn't make the right decisions. With the emperor in reverse, this is someone who was not in control of their life. Therefore, they couldn't take control of the connection. I feel like you relied on this person, you trusted this person, and you realized you couldn't um, anymore, right? The judgment in reverse is someone here who's made a lot of bad decisions, a lot of bad judgment calls, maybe done things that were only good for themselves. And I feel like you realized you couldn't keep moving forward with this person. So there could have been some communication here in the recent past. What's this about? The Tower in verse and the Seven of Cups in verse. I feel someone here in the past may have communicated the fact that they couldn't keep doing this. They couldn't keep acting as if, you know, this was not like unstable. I mean, the Tower is in verse. Maybe you've gone through a Tower with this person. Maybe more than one tower, and it's almost like I can't keep doing this. So someone may have communicated their needs uh, for more stability, for more clarity. The Seven of Cups in verse, I feel some of you guys, you were in a situation where um, there could have been other options, there could have been other people, and you wanted to become clear about where you stand with them okay and maybe they didn't want you to know where you stood with them okay so I feel like as a result there was a tower moment I feel like there was something here that had to be addressed and so something may have crumbled or came crumbling down because someone was avoiding a situation something here wasn't going to last very long wasn't sustainable something had to change eight of wands something had to change that's what the eight of wands is about now let's see what the ace of wands is about there's some kind of um New start, new beginning, but it's almost like you can't put all your energy into this just yet. Aries, we have this three of pentacles and the six of cups. There's someone, Aries, that you really still obviously care about. There's a lot of emotions or feelings. It's like just because something ended doesn't mean that your feelings for them has ended too. However, the three of pentacles of verse is like you just don't see eye to eye with this person. You don't agree on a lot of important things. And so I do feel the energy of you feeling like an opportunity has been missed with someone, Six of Cups, you may consider your soulmate or your other half, your person. You dream about this person a lot. You think about perhaps them coming back with the Ace of Wands, but you also realize that there was no reciprocity. Six of Pentacles here. Ace of Wands is here again. And the Chariot. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing the energy of... If someone was to come back, I do feel you would give it one last shot, Aries. I see a strong energy of wanting a victory with this person, whatever that may look like. There's something you want to be successful at. Maybe you want to have a successful, loving relationship, a family. You want to come together on the home front. There's something that you really want. So there is the energy of a missed opportunity, but not wanting to miss this opportunity. Eight of cups, uh, four cups in reverse. Um, but it's like, you really feel strongly about something having to be balanced, reciprocated, right? It's like if we have this new beginning, um, in order for it to be victorious, in order for it to last, to really move forward, 
They can't just come in with the passion and the excitement, right? No, they got to come in with fairness, with equal give and take, right? So that is something I, I feel very strongly in your energy right now. Um, those are some things that are probably on your mind. The chariot is a cancer. Maybe there's a cancer here. Let's see what this energy is of the five of wands and verses. Definitely some kind of disappointment. There's some disagreements here for sure. The knight of cups and the four of wands and verse. What it's telling me is that this disagreement, this separation is actually playing a big part in why this person is feeling so unstable. I see the energy, the four wands in verse. Something is not um, where they want it to be regarding their home life, their family life. Maybe they're not around their children anymore. There's something about maybe they got kicked out of the home. There's a lack of stability in their life, a lack of structure. And I feel like that could be prompting this person to come towards you with this Knight of Cups. There is some kind of offer of love. Um, it could be an apology as well, but this typically is some kind of offer saying, I care about you, Aries. You're on my mind. I miss you. I'm thinking of you. We do have the Five of Cups. So this speaks about regrets, remorse, disappointment, right? Five of Cups. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. This is someone who's coming back to you, Aries. There's someone who's very much feeling... Um, they want to be forgiven. They want to apologize to you. This is someone who has not moved on. They're still watching you from afar. Page of Swords. We got all these pages, right? They're watching you. They're gathering information. They're trying to figure out what's going on with you. Are you going to talk to me? Are we still doing this? Are, you know, what's happening? So there's someone here with the Page of Cups. I do feel who wants to come in to apologize to make things right. And I want to find out what that Eight of Cups about. That fool is a new opportunity, but they may feel as if you don't trust this opportunity with them. Queen of Pentacles and a Five of Cups. I feel someone here has walked away from you because um, their dealings with this Queen of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be someone here that they had had a commitment with or they sought a commitment with. Maybe they, they had some kind of physical connection with them or some kind of codependency. Could be a past lover. There are some kind of regrets about a situation regarding that. Now, some of you guys, Aries, this could be regrets regarding not being that, um, you know, Providing you with some kind of source of stability. The Queen of Pentacles could be like commitment, marriage, wife, husband. So there could be some regrets about walking away from you and promising you this Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, commitment and not doing it. Five of Cups. Um, take it out resonates, but I do see someone coming in. Why is the Fool in reverse? Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone feels like you're not going to accept this offer. They want to make an offer of love. Ace of Cups, a new offer. I love you. I want this uh, new beginning. But someone feels like you're not going to look at it. You're not going to take them seriously. So that's why they're coming in with this Page of Energy. They have Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So definitely some love here. Um, heartfelt feelings and emotions this person is coming in with. Um, page of Wands to move things in a new direction. I feel like this is something you're not seeing or you may not expect because the world is indicating there's something here that you're that's happening that you have no idea. The death and this because of the death card. There's transformation taking place with regard to a connection that you're in. The death card is like literally putting an end to something that hasn't been working. Um, it could be transforming it, transmuting the energy, allowing something to finally change in the right direction. The world card. The death is is really a change in, in a whole experience of relationship. I feel the death card could be indicating that, again, there, there could be something you're having to leave behind in order for this to move forward. Page of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Swords in verse. Aries, I really feel like there's something about you questioning everything. You must question everything. When this person comes in and moving things in a new direction, don't um, be so quick to perhaps open that door be sure to really go within um the high priestess could be the energy of really using your intuition right getting guidance spiritual insight spiritual guidance on what to do regarding a situation but the high priestess is using your intuition right you know really really um gathering information connecting with yourself and if you have that inner that feeling like that gut feeling saying something's up something's wrong they're not telling me the entire truth really listen to that because we do have the knight of swords and verse there's something about you finding out more information maybe this person comes in and they don't tell you everything right find out as much as you can do not trust um what you hear Perhaps ask more questions just to make sure that this is right for you. But I do see change, death, Scorpio energy, the world. I feel like this is good change. I feel this is change moving in the right direction. Okay. Now, as far as the challenge for swords, take time to rest because what you've gone through, ten of swords, pretty damn horrific. The hermit is resting, recovering, 
going within. The Four of Swords is recovery, healing, spending time with yourself, peace of mind. So take time, Aries. Don't rush it. Okay? So Aries, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. And I hope you guys have a great start to week. Bye.